Wom wom rom rom wom wom. <laughs> hey, welcome back to the shop. I'm Jason, and we are still playing around in Idaho and my buddy's shop. Today, what we're doing is we're going to be improving one of the biggest tactile improvements to the interior of his 2016 F-150. And what I'm talking about specifically is the Raptor steering wheel. See, this guy gives you a nice perforated leather center. You got the stripe, you got all the fun, good stuff on this wheel. Plus, you've got the shifters for when you really wanna get rowdy. However, they don't work. So what we're gonna be installing today is a plug and play harness. Uh, I forget the name of the company, but I'm gonna put it here on the screen so that I'm giving them credit for their cool product. And what we have to do is we have to route it from the shifter up through the dash and to the slip ring on the steering column so that these shifters will actually operate the transmission. This isn't a very big job, but it is a lot to take apart because you have to take apart the whole center stack here and down, get the wires run all the way over up here to the connector. So I would advise taking your time on this. A lot of these uh, parts are held together with small screws and plastic or little spring clips. And you really don't wanna break them or fling off those clips into oblivion outside into the truck or the shop or wherever you might be working. So let's take this thing apart, get this thing shifting like the uh, race truck that it deserves to be. Now, in reality, you're gonna want the battery disconnected to do this, but we can't disconnect it until we get the center console out because we're gonna to wanna to shift it down into neutral to pull all of this trim. So for now, we've got the key on, or not the key on, but the battery connected. We need to start by getting our trim piece out up here. We're gonna be pulling our speaker grill and our two screws out of the back. Use some bone tools. I guess I call them bone tools from back in the day, but these are just trim tools to get in here carefully to pop this cover up. There it is. Pop. Two, three, and four. You see, we've just got these little plastic clips all over the place holding everything together. And we've got our seven mils up here. Always fun pulling these things apart. Pop our speaker connector off. And then replace this little domed tweeter with a gigantic woofer. Is that what we're gonna do, Keith? Big woofer in the middle? All right. Yes, sir. With our top cover out, we have two screws up here. These are also sevens. Those screws removed. We're gonna be pulling up here. We've got some clips back behind here that need to pop out. So it's gonna take a little bit of force, just like that. It's probably gonna scare the bejeebers out of you when it pops. You broke it. Like it did me, but we've got clips down on the bottom, so find it easier to pull here and then get your fingers back behind there. And as you're doing it, Pay attention not to scratch the sides of your dash here. Now we can get back here and get all these connectors disconnected. You can see the connectors on the back side here at the top and down here in the middle. And I can't tell, are they on the bottom? Nope, just here in the middle and at the top. So we've got, it feels like a little spot there, spot there. Put the camera down. Uh-oh, pushed a button. What did I push? I don't know. All right, here's those connectors. You can see there's a little tab come on fingers, right there inside that has to be pushed. So 
So like that. This big one has a tab on the bottom right here. This one has the tab on the bottom as well. Now we're good with this section. We need to move on to our center stack. Or I guess not the stack, that's this part. We need to get the console cover out. So for that, we need to pull up in these corners and get underneath this guy like that. Work our way across. Okay. Okay, so with this guy, we have to yank back, but you see we're, we're stuck here on the shifter. So this is that point where we have to turn the key on, put it in neutral or pull her back even further to be able to lift up and get this guy out. Now we can go ahead and put it back and shut her down. With our trim out, we need to get these two Torx screws here in the middle. Uh, it looks like these are T20s. And then this whole centerpiece here will pop out with the clips. More plastic clips holding everything together. We should be able to fit that up and around the shifter. Just like that. Now we have clip, 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 clip on the sides. We're gonna get in there. Pry gently because we don't want to hit the leather shifter. Same thing on that side. And then the shift boot has clips on the bottom. So there's a clip right here. We can feel the clip right there. So we can unclip and push down. On the front, unclip and push down. And then the other side, you guessed it, unclip and push down. So squeeze your fingers in there. and around and on the bottom we have our prindle connector as I like to call it and our light connector on this side that we need to unclip let's see I get you back side here you can see that connector and that connector over there so these guys have little springs on the from this angle at the bottom see that pull this one, let's see, it's on the other side. Here, that's going to be our connector down in here. Same thing, we're going to have to squeeze and pull right there. And we're going to twist this out. I need two hands to get that guy out. Well, that doesn't need to come out. That can just go over here good on that side. Now we can see the harness that we needed access to. That's this gray harness. So this is going to be what we connect in line and we're going to run our harness across this side, through, behind the dash, and up into the steering. In order to access down under here though, we're going to have to pop the four bolts loose to the shifter column or not calling the shifter housing to lift it up and get that connector out underneath. There's not quite enough room to stuff this guy down and through there. To do that, we're gonna need 10 millimeter. Here's our harness. Our 10. This connector, now we can get it underneath. Now that we have this loose, we're going to take the factory Ford connector, stuff it underneath. We need to make sure to leave this side of the harness out to plug into our shift cover there. Ta-da! Pull that through. And then we need to push this guy up into this side. Got it. Okay. Just like that. We plug in the new connector here. 
We've got our Y connector there. Now this guy, we're gonna have to run through the black hole. So in order to get our harness from over there to up here, we need to start by removing this lower kick panel. This kick panel is held in with plastic push pins all the way around. So you should be able to get your fingers in back behind here, pop it loose. See one of those little push clips there, decided to hang out. We're gonna pull that out, put it, make sure that we put it back on our piece. Same thing on this side, except you're gonna to wanna to lift a little bit around the push start button to get that out. Pop down right onto the camera. No problem. All right. So you can see plastic clip, plastic clip, 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 clip. And then we have to pull this little panel here and we're going to pull our bottom side of the column. Split. There we go. And then the harness that we're looking for is right there. Pew pew. We need to look back here in the dungeon and feed our wires. Let's see, is there any light shining through? see any light shining through oh there it is I see light down there we need to feed through there So I needed something with a little more rigidity to try to stick through there. I found this lock wire. That will work. So what I'm going to do is wrap it around the harness here and then yank really hard. No, I'm going to pull it in there gently. Don't want to jack this thing all up. You're going to have to get creative though get this wire through there. Hopefully I didn't just pull it out. Nope, here it is. Get the side. The other side. Okay, so here's our connector. Here's our harness. Bring our harness up over this special plate here. Around. We're gonna want to zip tie everything in place here away from these drive motors for the column. The harness is labeled 9, 10, 11. And our little connector here, we need to get this lock tab pushed forward so that we can insert from the back. So there we go, I got that side off. Ow! That side. Well, there it is. Took it off. That'll do the job. Do the job just fine though. So on our connector here, we have 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, running across on the back side there. We're going to want to put them in order here, 9, 10, 11, 12. When you look at these connectors, they only go in one way in order to lock in. So as you're putting them in, take a look at the other ones. There's a little ridge. There it is there that you want lined up. Get my light set back up here. Put our lock back on. Make sure all our connectors are stabbed in there. And we're going to connect her back up right there. Okay. Plugged in. Now we need to turn the key on. Test this bad boy. Then we can put it back together. All right. Oh, key on is way down here. OK, 
Okay. We're gonna bring it back into drive. Actually, we're gonna go to manual. There it is. Two, three, four. Uh, we do not want to go. Ah, ah, ah. Down to two, down to one. All right, we're partying now. Shut her back down. Now let's use all these zip ties. Get our harness clipped right up in there in a safe spot. bottom of our steering column. Line all of our little clippy clippies up. Screw her back into place. Make sure all our plastic clips are on. Okay, lock your shifter down. Now we've got our little harnesses here that we had to plug back in. There we go. That's for our light there. This one is for our shift light. this guy <clears throat> slide it up and over make sure you lock your leather back in down all the clicky clickies and then we got our two torques here in the middle all right and this guy we flip her over and around, we have to get these clips locked back in down on the bottom, which means we're gonna have to put it back in gear again. That way we can slide the shifter back, get this over it. Not start it, we don't need to start it just yet. And then we have to work this down and around and in, which can be a small bit of a pickle. So take your time. I like to say, take your time. There it goes. Snap it in place. Snap, snap, snap. And feel all the way around the outside edge to make sure that it's clipped in. This one wasn't clipped. And then double check your little front tray to make sure that's working nice and smooth. All right, we're nearing the home stretch now. Got our two bottom connectors here. We'll slide these around the uh, shifter. And we'll double check that these are on the right spot. Hazards work with the hazard button. That's what we're looking for. Okay, bunch of little clippy clippies again. We're gonna start at the bottom, clip. Check here, clip, clip. Okay, and then we're just gonna look for our reveal to be even all the way around. Let's pop our screws in next. All right, next, put our speaker and our center stack or holder or doodad tray back in. We gotta make sure we find our connector, plug our speaker in. Okay, and just like before, we have our three little clips there, our two screws on that side. Okay. Okay, now our screws in the back. And our speaker cover. Click, click. Well, that really wasn't so bad. We were able to get that thing pulled up and through using the locking wire 
Uh, you could use a uh, coat hanger or bend up an old antenna or whatever you have lying around. That's what I usually do, whatever I can find. But once we got that through there, the matter of pinning it in, that's super easy. Pull the little cover off and you're solid. We're gonna put it back together, go drive it and get to enjoy it now and be able to slap shift a little in the truck because that's cool. Yeah, it really is. But either way, I hope you liked the video. Look forward to seeing you in another one. We'll catch you later.